All right guys welcome back to day 14 and congratulations because you're on day 14 and that is two weeks two weeks of python uh, kinter programming using uh, kinter and pygame so give yourself a pat on the back not right now but give yourself a pat on the back after completing this video because after this video you would have completed two weeks uh, of programming so let's get started with this video and uh, but first let's recap what we did in the last video so in the last video we learned about frames and how they separate our kinter window in, uh, into different parts into different divisions so top division middle division bottom division or more divisions if you want and then we learned how there are two types of layout managers and or layout helpers uh, and they are called the pack layout manager and the grid layout manager so we had learned about the pack layout helper or manager in the last video and yeah, we were able to arrange our buttons neatly in a horizontal kind of a manner. We were able to give some kind of padding. So it looks pretty good. The second kind of layout manager is known as a grid layout manager. What grid layout manager is basically it helps us arrange widgets and elements like buttons and stuff in a grid kind of manner in rows and in columns. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the grid layout manager in this video. And you must be thinking, why do we exactly need the grid layout manager if we are doing, we are able to do uh, the stuff that we do with the pack layout manager. Now this GUI layout right now is not that complex, so we can accomplish it using the pack layout manager. But as you go further, if you are making like complex apps like calculators and uh, which have a lot of elements in their uh, in the GUI, for example, this pie charm, you just can't use only the pack layout manager. You'll have to also use other layout managers. So right now, because our GUI doesn't have that many elements to it, we can get away with pack layout manager. Whenever you need to make something that has a complex GUI, you need to combine those, uh, these pack and grid together to make it into a beautiful GUI. So right now, one of the other uses of frame that I forgot to tell you was that in a Python file, or I might have mentioned it a little bit, is that uh, you can't use the pack layout manager and the grid layout manager at the same time, because that will throw you an error. You are not allowed to use both of them at the same time. But one of the things about frame is that you can use both of them at the same time if you use frames. So if you notice our Kinter window, we have made a frame for this middle part of uh, our buttons, basically photo buttons. So this middle part is isolated from the rest of the Kinter window. And this isolation makes uh, it happen that we can use the grid system on these three buttons without affecting this top area and the bottom area, the status bar, the file bar, this text. It doesn't need to be affected because we are isolating this middle frame. And that is one of the most important functions of frame. So let's get started with understanding what is grid. And for that, I just want to make a new Python file because this Python file is becoming pretty huge. And just I just wanted to uh, show you, I'm going to probably delete this file later. And I just wanted to maybe copy, <laughs> I can write it again, but I'm just too lazy. So I'm not gonna write it again, copy this from here. All right, I, I'll write one line for you guys. I'll write one line. All right, and then I jump, I'm just going to copy the three buttons that we have created over here. Uh, let's copy this, copy, and paste this over here. All right, now instead of the middle frame, we can use the root, not root, <laughs> root. And then I'm just gonna copy it most probably, paste it, and paste it again. And then we don't need command because we are just working with the GUI and we are not doing anything with these buttons. We are just showing them on our uh, GUI window. So we don't need this. And photo, yeah, that's that looks good. So let's execute this learn.python file and see how it looks. All right, so let's remove these things also so that they just like pack, nothing else. All right, all right, let's reload it. All right, now they are stacked from top to bottom. So now we are going to be learning about the grid system. All right, so grid system, you can imagine this as uh, this, I'm gonna open up an Excel file. So this is a very good example of a grid system. It has these cells or blocks and they the, all these cells and blocks together form a grid. It's kind of a mesh of lines. 
and these mesh of lines have rows and columns. So from left to right is a row and from top to bottom is a column. So this is a this A is actually a zeroth column, then this B is a first column, then this C is a th second column and so on. And similarly, this first one is the zeroth row, this second one is the first row and this, this third one is the second row. So let's actually uh, just to make sure that you understand, I'm just going to write down the numbers over here. So this is uh, from left to right is a row and then top to top bottom is a column. So this is a row zero and this is column one and then this is row one and this B is still column one so this is row zero and this is column one and this is row one and then column one and vice versa the whole line is actually row zero and the second line is all of it row one and then this first one is column one and this a is actually column zero but i can't show it to you because i've already written row, row zero and row one over here but i can probably write row zero and uh, let's write column uh, column zero and then row one and uh, not zero column see, i'm messing up spellings huh <laughs> column zero and then over here we can also write uh, row one and column one and then over here not actually this is not row one this is row zero and then over here we can write row one column one I might be overkilling it by writing it over here because you guys probably already understand it but I just want to make sure for the people who don't understand it it's pretty clear for them so this one is uh, row 0 and column 0 this one is row 0 column 1 this is row 1 column 0 and this is row 1 column 1 if this is too complex for you don't worry about it just imagine this whole A uh, is column 0 this whole B is column 1 then so on and this first is row 0 and then this is row 1 and then so on so what this is going to help us is kind of imagine where our uh, where our buttons are going to go so if you look, have a look at this kinder window what we want to do is we want this play button to appear on the left and then we want this stop button to appear in the middle and then we want this pause button to appear on the right now we have three elements so you can man you can imagine that this as having three columns so the first column or the zeroth column will have the play button the pause button will be in the first column and then the pause button will be on the third column and uh, we want them on the same line so we can just use row zero if we wanted them to appear on different lines we can we could have been like row zero row one row two so let's actually without wasting any more time let's just execute it and uh, you'll probably understand it a more a lot more when we actually start implementing it so i'm just to use the grid system is pretty easy instead of pack you just write down grid and then you write down which row and which column you want this button to appear in. So I'm just going to write row zero and column one. Now in this first one, we are using the grid system and then we are using the pack and the pack. So this is not going to work because I told you in the previous, not in the previous video, just a few minutes ago that you can't use grid and the pack in the same Python file unless they are in the frames. So I just wanted to tell you that before changing this to grid, so I'm just going to change it to grid again. And this one is, uh, I'm just going to copy this from here and paste this and actually copy all of it from here and paste this over here. And now, sorry, I just burped. I don't know if you heard it or not, but anyways, in the stop photo, I just want this, uh, actually I want this to appear in the column zero, not column one, because we want to up make sure that it appears over here in row zero row column. This is the play button. This is the stop button and then this cth column over here will be actually row 0, row 0 and column. Who is testing me when I'm making uh, these videos? I don't know. People always texting me. Anyways, so this is going to be row 0 and column 2. So this looks good. Um, let's go back to our code. So yeah, the first one is row 0, column 0, then column 1. And in the last one, we want it as column two. So let's run this Python file again and see what's up. 
as you can see now it's it's appearing in the horizontal direction and uh, it is very easy to put it into a grid so now what if we wanted it stacked one below each other just to make sure that you understand we don't need it but what if we wanted this stop button to appear at the bottom then this pause button to appear at the bottom again so what we could have done is instead of changing the columns we could have changed the rows and then make sure that these are in the same column that is the first column or the zeroth column and then run it again so these all of these three are in the zeroth column but in different rows so row zero row one and row two now what if we wanted this stop button to appear over here but we wanted the pause button to be just below this pause button what we could have done is that we could so this is in row zero and column zero this is where we wanted to appear but this pause stop button we want to appear in row zero and column one that is over here so we could just write row zero and column one and that's it let's uh, let's reload it all right so now you can see it's appearing in uh, row zero and column one while pause button is still appearing in row two and not row two we can change this to uh, row one that's that's also gonna work let's reload it yeah row one and then column zero that is the first column so now you understand about uh, the grid system now we can go back to our main python file and we can actually change this to grid system so let's write grid over here and then scroll a little bit below write grid over here and then the last the pause button let's write grid over here and then we are just gonna use this row and column so i'm just gonna copy it from here uh, let's copy it all right we're gonna paste it again paste it not a lot of intellectual work you're just pasting stuff that's fine though column one column two and let's see the padding if it if this padding works or not i'm just gonna execute it uh okay not this one we have to close this learn python file and yeah let's execute this one all right actually this is looking a lot i feel that this is a lot better than the usual grid system that we have actually i think i can we can remove the padding from over here and it will still be good enough because grid automatically gives a little bit of padding on the sides so let's see yeah actually this is a lot better and we are we have removed the pad x from here because grid automatically gives some padding on the left and the right hand side and this looks pretty good all right guys so congratulations we have completed uh, this video and two weeks of uh, Kinta programming now you can give yourself a pat on the back and I'm actually so happy that I've, I've recorded two weeks of uh, worth of content and uh, I'm just like really uh, happy that I'm able to teach you guys uh, and there are a lot of more things to come because a music player is still not done still we can do a lot of stuff in our music player so I'm really excited to about tomorrow where we'll be starting day 15 and uh, we are going to be making the rewind button tomorrow most probably but i'm not sure but uh, that's what's what most probably i'm gonna do so i'll see you in the next video and uh, yeah uh, keep coding